Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at a pen by Pelican. The Pelican Twist fountain pen. I think it's safe to say this is a school pen. Uh, suitable for left and right handers, according to the box. And this pen was sent to me by Fonto Plumo. Thanks a lot. Don't remember that SBRE Brown Caps gives you 10% discount on Fonto Plumo, should you want one. This is an affordable pen, people. 7 euros and 36 cents outside the EU, so without the VAT. It's kind of a fun pen. Simple cardboard box, beautiful work. Um, and then there is the pen. Simple. And there's nothing wrong with that. And as I said, it's a school pen. This is meant for children. But guess what? It works pretty well for adults too. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen town I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start at the very top of the pen. Finial. Isn't a whole lot going on except for these sort of uh, vent holes and the little pelican with its baby. Obviously, pen called Twist. Well, it looks like it's twisted. This is a uh, pink plastic and there's more holes there. Now, why all the holes? Uh, as I understand it, that is required by law so that if a child swallows this, it can still breathe. I assume that's uh, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So let's work on that premise. So we have that, that twisty look. Cap pops off. Cap, oddly enough, sort of posts. But it can also actually come off, so it's... I don't really think you're supposed to post this, so it's really big when you do that. Remember that it's actually meant for children, so it would be something like this in a child's hand, right? Interesting section. That is... I think it's plastic, but it, it has this very slight rubbery texture to it, so it does offer a very good grip. As you can see, see very clear cutouts, right, for the... Um, the fingers, simple steel nib, this is a medium, simple feed, but it works pretty well. There's no clip, it's uh, it's a good size, as I said, even for adults, it's 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 pretty comfy. It's very blocky, but it's, it's, it's pretty comfy. And it takes cartridges. I'm sure you can put in one small international cartridge, put in a second one, but the nice thing about Pelican is that it has these international long cartridges, which just hold quite a lot more ink than a standard international short, so I would definitely uh, prefer using those. And the box, uh, it, it actually says it comes with one of the cartridges, so you, you buy it and you're immediately ready to go. Okay, well, this is a simple pen. I don't think there's a whole lot more to say about this, but what do I like about it, what do I not like about it? Well, first of all, it's fun. This is a vibrant design. You have to, I mean, I think this will really appeal to children, and to be honest, I also think it appeals to quite a couple of adults because it is—it's—it's it's fun. I mean, it, it, it has some, has a funny shape, and that I think is 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 nice. They did that well. Nice color. The the, the pink is nice and bright. Uh, it looks playful. That that really works. Could also be some sort of makeup article um, or other items that I shan't mention. But I mean, it it looks it looks interesting. Long cartridges, I think that's an advantage, because they do hold a lot of ink, and especially for kids in school, that's great, because you can just write longer with it, right? That, that, that makes sense. It's very affordable, right? Less than 10 euros. Come on, that's, that's hard to beat. It's a fountain pen. But what I was most surprised by is that it actually has a very pleasant nib. Not only does it look like fun, it's actually fun to use. And the best part is, we got this pen in, Took me a long time to record this review, and I'm sorry, but we moved across an ocean. Um, we got here, wasn't used for a few weeks. I uncapped it, and it wrote straight away. That's good stuff. I mean, that that really is good stuff. It didn't dry out. It, it wrote. I like that. That's really cool. And the nib is smooth. I I can't say. I mean, I would love to say, look, it's a cheap pen. It writes horribly scratch. It doesn't. It's a smooth nib that writes well. So. Little to be complained about there. Now, if I have to nag about something, I would say that this grip section, to me, for longer writing sessions, is not comfortable. I can write with it for a shorter bit of time. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't think it's the size of my fingers. It just doesn't really work for me. It's like, say, the Lamy Safari, where some people love that grip section, other people hate it. 
yeah, guess what? You have to live with it. it. It's the way it is, and there's nothing you can change about it. This is another option, so it may or may not work for you, but hey, it's less than 10 euros, so it's not like it's it's going to be a terrible expenditure and then you can never use it and you've lost thousands of dollars, as would be the case with some other pens. It's fun. And this is a knockabout pen. You drop this at work, someone steps on it, who cares? It doesn't really matter. You accidentally throw it out the window on the train, who cares? It doesn't matter because you won't lose a terrible thing. So I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's quite a fun pen. We need to see how it writes. Before that, Frank, thanks a lot for sending me the pen. I appreciate it and I do actually apologize for taking so long to review it. Sorry. Let's see how the pen writes. Hope this was useful. High resolution pictures of the pen as well as measurements of the pen will be on the website sbrebrown.com. I hope this was useful so far. I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Pitikan twist. The nib is a steel medium and the ink is just very simple. Pitikan Königs Blau, the royal blue. Okay. Nib. I really find it quite pleasant. It's, it's, uh, fox, fox jumps. It's not the smoothest nib I have ever used, but by no means this is a bad nib. It's really quite pleasant. Fast writing. You see there is the occasional skip a little bit, but that's really pushing this pen. As to its wetness, Pelican Royal Blue is not the, uh, the, the wettest ink in the world, but as you can see, it, it, it works fairly well. It's a little difficult to hold it this way with that grip section, but you can squeeze out a little bit of line variation if you want to. Reverse writing, actually quite smooth. I have seen nibs in which this was a lot less pleasant, so you can actually take this from a medium, a good medium, to a fine, which is useful for people who like such a thing, and because there is a sort of a one of those facets there too, you can actually hold it upside down too. It's a little bit difficult, I mean a little bit awkward, but it, it does actually work. And there you have it. So, a very simple, fun, playful pen. I hope this was useful. Funk, thanks a lot for sending me this. I appreciate it. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.